now we're on Instagram. Hi everybody, I'm Jim. And I'm Ryan. And this is the Concept Crucible Podcast. And today we have a... Well, if you've been noticing, the last time I wore this shirt... We talked about some pretty heavy stuff. So. Well, for listeners, Ryan is wearing the shirt, same shirt he was the last time we recorded the podcast. Yes. So, uh, but this time we are recording a little bit lighter, uh, a lot more fun. Uh, a lot more fun. Uh, We're going to talk about social media. Yeah. And uh, and kind of like how we use it, how we view it. What, uh, and then, you know, just what social media is awesome. Why, why not talk about it? Right? Yeah, it's so. true. So, Ryan, what is... The coolest thing you've ever seen on social media. So there's a lot of cool things. Mm-hmm. Um, that's probably stupid of me to to point out. Um, Cats for, cat versus sloth. Yeah. Um, tiny hamsters eating tiny burritos. So, but the only thing that came, and thankfully you are letting me go first. Um, the thing recently... It's hard that to I, follow tiny hamsters. Oh, you know? yeah, I know. Um, the thing that I found awesome recently on social media is, believe it or not, Twitch plays Pokemon. Twitch plays Pokemon was like a year ago, eh? I know. That's it's, forever internet time. But it's it's not so much that nothing cool has happened since. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of amazing things that have happened on social media. But it's... <sighs> Key and Peel at Obama's uh, press dinner. Yeah. Which I didn't know actually happened until... It's recently. rad. Ryan's going to watch it after this. I know. Uh, but... Yeah, the the whole phenomenon of the first iteration of Twitch Plays Pokemon, um, you know the the kind of cultural mythology that spilled out of it. Crazy Helix, I know, and but just the idea that several thousand people over the course of how long did it take? Oh, I don't even ten know. days. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It, uh, Far less time than you would think. Yeah, but far more time than one individual person playing. But several thousand or several groups of thousands of people were able to one command at a time trolls, Fight, fighting with each other fighting with each other trolls and all were able to play a game that when you think about it or if you've ever played a Pokemon game does require a lot of deliberate actions yes like moving oh, around yes. the map uh, especially <laughs> the ledges you know, oh god the ledge try, trying to trying to pass by an area that requires you to go on very particular paths or any of the the switch floors that kicks you back you know like yeah. any, anything that requires your character to be following a set guided path through a maze also while strategically battling monsters yeah uh just that whole concept is is amazing to me uh and you know what it kind of restores a little bit of faith that you know, like there are enough people that can over overtake the noise and the the trolling, and can actually achieve something. Even Pokemon it, mastery, Pokemon mastery, in very piecemeal fashion. So it, it does kind of restore a little bit of faith in in humanity for me. So uh, my coolest thing on social media also restores faith in humanity, uh, and this is a real thing that happened. Uh, it was a while ago. I am not going to name any names because I feel like it is not, they're not my name's name. But once upon a time, there was a guy who was on the edge. And he put up a little thing on his website saying goodbye. Somebody found it. Somebody sent it to somebody else. Somebody said it to somebody else. And some of those people were people I know. And they found him on the internet. And over the course of about a day, I was in my office for the whole day when I should have been writing my thesis, but I was on Twitter. They talked this guy off a ledge. Not an actual ledge, but a metaphorical ledge. They talked him out of killing himself. He was in a really, really rough spot. But he is still around. And any time somebody tells me, and let me tell you, I wrote my thesis on social media, and people often tell me, why does this shit even matter? What's it for? It's all stupid. And every time somebody tells me that, I think about that time when a bunch of people talk to guy out of killing himself and like they saved a human being's life using fucking twitter it's worth it 
done. No problems. He's also it help, it like he is a super cool guy, and I am glad that he is still around. But they are still on Twitter and they are still doing cool things. But yeah, I mean that is the coolest thing I have ever seen, and I hope it happens all the time. I hope that it has happened a million times and I never saw it, hmm. and because. That is that is what it lets us do. It lets us, I mean, I mean, for all that social media lets us antagonize each other when we have no right to, it also lets us support each other when we need it from any distance, mm-hmm. at any time. I'm yeah. so glad you went first. I didn't go first. You went first. I mean, sorry. I'm so glad you let me go first <laughs> and I didn't have to follow that. Sorry, that's what I meant. We're tired. It's, it's been a long, heavy day. It has indeed. It has uh, indeed. But I'm so glad I did not have to follow that because I would have felt incredibly juvenile admitting that well, I Well, really yeah. Enjoyed. I mean, that's the thing, though, is is social media. I, I wrote a post once comparing. I, it, was, it was a weird post. It was years ago. But comparing social media to... Um, spaces. Mm-hmm. Often we call we talk about social media like it's tools. Mm-hmm. It's a marketing tool. It's a networking tool. It's a customer relations tool. It's mm-hmm. a, it's you know like like and and we talk about social media like it's one giant thing rather than it being like Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram and blogging and podcasting, mm-hmm. which are all forms of social media. And, but it's really not a tool. I don't think. I mean, it's useful. Mm-hmm. It can be used as a tool. Mm-hmm. The only reason it makes it like a what makes a good tool is a good tool. Like what you're looking for in a hammer is a hammer that you can use repeatedly that doesn't break or hurt your hand, or you know you can use it to maybe pull nails out. Maybe there's a bottle opener on the bottom so you can crack a beer while you're inevitably getting drunk making a deck. I don't know a lot about hammers or decks. Usually you screw them together, but that too. <laughs> Shut up. But yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a tool. Yeah. I mean, what you're looking for is a good tool. But social media is only a useful tool if it's a really cool space. Yeah. I mean, communities like, like you'll find you can find on Twitter or Facebook or Reddit or Tumblr or you know Instagram or YouTube. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sitting here. For those of you listening, I am literally wearing a Nerd Fighter hoodie. I mean, these are they're 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 they're. They are good tools in because they are great spaces, and they are great spaces because people make them that way. People populate them, and share things on them, and talk on them. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like the park. Mm-hmm. What makes a good like, like a, a park is just a place to hang out. What makes a good park is you know a park that is welcoming to people who want to hang out there. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you can go there and read. You can go there and nap. You can go there and kick balls. You can go there and hit balls, throw balls, do lots of things with balls. You can go there and make out. You can go there and spin fire. You can go there and preach. Mm -hmm. You can go there and hand out flyers. Mm -hmm. And everybody's using the park, right? There's no point at which you're like, you're, sir, sir, you're, you're using the park wrong. You're, uh, you're operating the park incorrectly. You are, uh, you are in fact, uh, violating. I mean, I mean, what are you doing? Oh, you're drag racing in the park. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not really for drag racing. I suppose that's true. One drag racing remote control cars, though. That'd be pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Go to YouTube if you want to actual drag race. Probably don't actual drag race, but it's really dangerous. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I mean, spaces rather than than and and communities rather than tools and and things it is useful for those things but it is not useful because of those things Mm. yeah and we like you've mentioned the spaces thing before i have to say i'm still in the mode and not of the mindset i don't think that like the way i use it is right uh, or the only way it should be used but i still tend to approach social media from the grumpy pants 40 year old versus your 14 year old (laughs) Uh, I tend to tend All to these kids on the Twitters. Yeah, I tend to use uh, social media a little bit more um, utilitarian way. Sure. Um, I use it as a uh, a medium mm-hmm. uh, for communication. Uh, so, for example, um, I tend to use Twitter uh, one directionally. Most of the time, it's just thoughts leaving my head. They left one direction. Yeah, the world will never be the same. Ah, uh, we'll see. 
Uh, occasionally, some very good people that I've never met, like Lore, will will send messages back my way, um, and we'll engage in light conversation and discuss how we love making bread and whatnot. Um, <laughs> but I, I've I've largely been not using social media in the community sense. We're but totally going to get him on the podcast when he's here, for sure. Whenever Lore happens to cross across the the, the Great Pond, you mean in August. Oh, really? Yeah. You heard it here first. Fantastic. So, when I signed up for Instagram, though, and yeah, I just recently signed up for Instagram. Now I'm inundated with pictures of Ryan's dog. Yeah, uh, it's about 50% my dog. And Who like, is the cutest dog ever? It is the cutest dog ever. Um, but anyways, I started using Instagram, and I'm not really under any illusions that I'm going to have a lot of followers. But I recently bought a sketchbook and started um, gramming. Oh, what's the analog? You tweet on Twitter. You gram on Instagram. You take pictures. I take, you take pic- pictures I take- and you post them on Instagram. <laughs> anyways, I... Or I uh, believe you Instagram them. I believe it is the full word. Okay, anyways, whenever I when I upload stuff to Instagram. Um, so I've, I've done a couple anatomy pictures, just really quick sketches. Uh, Not that kind of anatomy. Don't even... No. No, 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 no. I drew, 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 like, muscle muscle groups and labeled it's, them. Gray's Anatomy. I, I said it was an anatomy picture. Oh. Uh, they, yes. didn't, they didn't agree with me. Yeah. Anyways. Um, and I started using the tags. I've never really used, like, I use tags on, on Twitter, right? Sure. But I started using tags. And all of a sudden, all these people from all over the place started liking the, the pictures. Because you have a cute dog. No, this, these were the anatomy pictures. Oh. These were the non-penis pictures. Non-penis pictures. <laughs> Uh, so it's like I've missed I have I'm apparently not completely inundated with Ryan's yeah Instagram pictures yeah so you can be though but it, but it's really strange uh, not really strange it's it's really new and really interesting because uh, the sole reason why I started taking pictures of you know these um, anatomical drawings and and pictures of like creative lists and whatnot is I was inspired by some people on Instagram who were doing that Neat. and and I thought you know like, this is really interesting and either this is an interesting way for me to kind of do some self reflection because I journal but uh, I haven't been journal- journaling lately uh, and I saw that this one one person she would post you know like I think she her most recent one was like. <laughs> reasons why I love my husband so that was prominent in the center of the page and then she wrote a bunch of qualities about her husband that were meaningful to her that she loved him and I thought you know that's maybe I don't know I I don't don't actually know but but I I was really inspired by his stuff that she posts that she uh, she reflects upon herself and she she has to come up with you know 10 or so these qualities of the particular post in question Um, and I thought that would be a really interesting way of of you know thinking over yourself and trying to realize what's important to yourself uh and then switching to the uh the anatomical drawings there's a guy who he's making his way through your med school and he in order to study he draws pictures uh, of the things that he's studying and i thought that was a really interesting way of of trying to learn something and take a problem and break it down and create memory devices uh and then so when i drew these pictures and started throwing the tags on there these people all over the place were, were liking my my stuff there's no reason to like it i we're not friends with each other or we're it's not likeable. following i guess it's likable but we're not there's no obligation there to, to like it you know, is much. there ever um it would seem that sarah's niece has an obligation to like every picture that i post fair enough fair <laughs> enough that's awesome <laughs> not something Shout that out I, to sarah's niece yeah, not something that i've imposed upon her but she i mean she really likes pictures of the dogs and anytime i make food or whatever she's definitely there to to give it a heart um but so but that that idea of a space of a community started to it was uh, it was a natural way of it cropping up in my use of, of truly Instagram. ryan's heart grew three sizes that day so um, it's a serious medical condition you should get that look at probably um it's definitely not good for you. But yeah, so the, the idea of social media spaces is something that I'm only just starting to understand, but I haven't fully embraced it or understand it. I'm still very much a 40-year-old looking for opinion pieces. <laughs> to confirm so where, what where, where else do you lurk on the social media and what do you do with uh, it? So uh, Facebook, not maybe not obviously, but Facebook I use, uh, but it might be harder to find me because I changed the privacy settings. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Facebook so, is usually a private thing. Yeah, and it's, it's you know, it's I don't really have a lot of people that I'm casual acquaintances with there. It's a lot of people that 
you know, I have very specific memories of. It's, mm-hmm. you know, old camp buddies or I may not be in contact with them, but they're all people that I had a, sure. a non insignificant amount of time with. Do you use um, Twitter to find out about news you said? I do use Twitter mostly yeah to scan um to scan for news or to scan for interesting things people are saying. Um, I used to use Reddit more. Now uh, I just use it when I'm looking for advice animals or, <laughs> um, you know, interesting, fun pages to go visit. Much in the same way, way back in the day, I used StumbleUpon to try to find interesting yep, things. I still use StumbleUpon. Um, I, I sometimes get links through it, but usually I use Reddit as the proxy for StumbleUpon. Um, uh, and I guess for any of our... our profiles we can link down below like my, oh, of course. Tw- my twitter handle on my instagram yeah. I, I use instagram uh i have a footprint on linkedin uh but i don't actively use it i use it as but a, if you'd like to see ryan's resume <laughs> it's basically it's in the show notes. functions as a cv which i keep pointing to my crotch i apologize for that for those watching the podcast but would you like to see ryan's <laughs> cv yeah you can find that on instagram with his anatomy stuff believe it or not i don't i think instagram has it as a palsy no pornography i've yet that, to find that, any pornography yeah no they really do they yeah. take that stuff really that serious. was the first thing because twitter you see that but instagram i was actually shocked not to see no, no, Instagram is, so. is very strict about that. Um, um, perhaps occasionally too strict about it. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, given it's, the sort of body policing that they do. Yeah, it's it's never been a, um, th- a thing that's affected me, so I, ju- I just happen to notice that. Mm. Um, let's see what else. I, uh, I have a Google Plus account because I use Google, but I don't really, like, yeah. I have an account. Um, YouTube. YouTube, I have a few videos on there, but they're largely of my dog running through snow. Just to share, just to share with Sarah when Oof. she was away from town. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, Tumblr? I don't use Tumblr. I um, love Tumblr. Tumblr I, is awesome. I, I've yet to embrace Tumblr. I tend to I tend to have that negative attitude. Is that where the kids Tumblr. are? Maybe, yeah. The uh, kids in the social justice warriors. I yeah. heard that they live there. I mean, I, 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 I see, I see a the, um, like, a lot of the nerd, uh, the nerd posts get uh, captioned and ported over to Facebook. You know, like some sort of Doctor Who reference yep. and all the comments below it. I mean, so I'm a, I, I see it and I'm aware of it, but I haven't really used it. I'm aware of Tumblr, <laughs> yes. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm familiar aware. with how things are tumbled. Um, WordPress, uh, I have one, I just don't use it. I w- made it way back in the day when I was still in grad school because I thought maybe I might be productive. But Conveniently, we also post this on a WordPress blog. We do. Uh, podcasts, so we both make podcasts as well that. as uh, I use Stitcher largely to curate my podcasts. Um, and then for the ones that I want to use at the gym, I download them on iTunes and throw them on the iPod. Uh, I wow. Think- I think I'm coming. I, it's I, intriguing. The, the, like social media is a huge part of your life. I mean, mine too. But you know, yeah, it, it's it's strange. You don't really th- because it's so ubiquitous now. It's hard to believe. Like Web 2.0, like what? How how much user generated content we actually take part in oh, yeah. all the time? You know, it used to just be st- not static websites, but websites you would go to that somebody else is posting. Right now, mm-hmm. it's. Almost everything we look at. Facebook is, is the largest human our archi- uh, historical pro- or the largest autobiographical project mm-hmm. in human history. Mm-hmm. Like it is, everyone is documenting their own lives, admittedly in a really weird, skewed way, mm-hmm. but it is certainly better than and more thorough than anything that has ever happened before. Mm-hmm. Um, Feedly, I also use Feedly. No, Feedly is a good time. Yeah, I love me some RSS feeds. Yeah, especially because Google Reader shut down. That don't shake your fist about that. Well, I did, but then I found Feedly, and then I'm happy. Well, it's just, I mean, if you want a really good service to stick around, you got to pay for it. I mean, that's you how you pay for Feedly. I don't pay for Feedly. Oh, you mean Google Reader? Google, going yeah, on. I mean they were yeah. like they were like we're doing six million things, and we're shutting a bunch of them down because yeah. they're not making us any money. I mean, we're yeah. gonna do six million other things. Yeah, that's how we can do things like run a D and D game on Hangouts. Yeah. So, uh, I don't. I bet you I have not exhausted every avenue of social media. Maybe maybe what we should do is before we post this, I'll go back listen to it, and then and I'll, we'll put it in the show. I'll put, I'll put the rest of them. You can follow gone. Ryan on everything, and yes. you'll know everything about him. Yeah, everything about him, every dirty and his person. anatomy. I just like saying anatomy. You can't. You can, also for those of you listening, Ryan is attempting to show you where the beach is. Mm. He is doing it poorly. It's off camera. That's all you need to know. It is not here. That's true. Yeah. No, I, I I use a ton of social media, sort of intermittently. I go through cycles. 
Um, I spend a lot of, way more time than I should on Facebook, partly because it's my primary chat medium. Mm-hmm. And I like talking to people. I spend a lot of time on Twitter, uh, sort of randomly talking to people, talking about RPGs, talking about writing, and talking about ethics. And Ryan, uh, Ryan Consul is my personal hagiographer. He tweets all the cool stuff I say, um, which is apparently more frequent than I'm aware of, but less frequent than I would like. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it's it's a pretty good time. I am I am I have an Instagram and I have a Flickr, but I'm really self conscious about the photos I take because I think they're really bad, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to get past that, which is why I have them. But I haven't actually started really using them yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I would like to. Um, I use a bunch of like really weird ones, like uh, if this and that, and well, you see that as social media. I just see that as an application. On it's my an app. It's an application, but there's also a community aspect because you can create recipes and share them. And, Fair enough. But then I and, use that fun, well, cool yeah. stuff. Um, I obviously use WordPress because I write on a blog, mm-hmm. and actually I write on like two blogs, and hopefully soon three again because I really want to crank TPK back into being because I really love writing about D and D. But, yeah, uh, I don't spend as much time on Tumblr as I'd like, because Tumblr is rad. And I spend almost no time on it, on LinkedIn at all, even though I sort of like it, because it's the only place on the internet where everyone is nice to each other, because no one's ever sure if that person's going to be a client, <laughs> or an employer, or if an employer is watching, or anything like that. Like, it's it's really interestingly self-policed. <laughs> and thus, on, on LinkedIn, everyone is nice to each other the downside is is everything's sort of that wishy-washy middle ground stuff so i really like sharing weird stuff on linkedin mm. partly because i mean anybody who is going to jo- give me a job is going to understand that i'm strange halfway through the interview and figure it out they're going to be like i can't i just can't keep a straight face for that long they're going to be like so jim what did you do yesterday i'm like really uh yesterday i made a podcast where i talked about uh, how weird I am in interviews. And they're going to be like, uh-huh. And at that point, they're going to figure out whether or not they want to give me a job. Um, I have a job, so it's not super worrying. The best part is, is you never know if we're actually wearing pants when we're doing the podcast. We're wearing pants! I mean, but you can't tell. I know. You have to take it on our authority. All right, fine. Our testimony. Next, next podcast, nothing but pants. Not like no shirts. Like camera angle is pants. <laughs> not... Not we're not doing a shirtless podcast, <laughs> not not without doing it for charity or something. But anyway, and like upward angle or something, oh, <laughs> not a downward. Angle. Oh, that's that would be embarrassing. No, I I, I watch a ton of YouTube. Um, I watch a whole bunch of Twitch. I spend I don't spend as much time on Reddit as I used to, but I still spend a bunch of time there. I'm sort of torn between finding really cool communities and reading the front page and being like, you people are all horrible. Uh, same with Google Plus. Mm. It's sort of it's sort of a really neat but weird community, uh, but I enjoy it. I spend more time there now than I used to. Mm. But yeah, I I love I also love Pinterest. Oh well, yeah, I forgot. I don't about pin Pinterest. a lot of stuff on Pinterest. Yeah, because um, I'm really bad at Pinterest. Mm. But I like looking at other people's cool stuff, and it's a really way to to see people's cool stuff, and also a really w- good way to like be super self-conscious about myself so i'm like man i don't make anything that cool i like speak words into a microphone with another guy who's bigger than me and sometimes other people um soundcloud is like that too i spend a bunch of time on soundcloud we have a woodsuit soundcloud mm-hmm. um where we have a couple of songs up sort of as kaylee and i record stuff just randomly in my room but we uh and, I, and, and it is an awesome place to find new music and cool music. All of the uh, balloon stuff that we did in February, th- all of those tracks were from a Creative Commons artist on SoundCloud. All of those cool chip tunes. And so it's a really cool place to discover new stuff and also, yeah, to find people who are vastly better musicians than me and vastly less successful, which is in itself impressive. Because, mm-hmm. wow. Yeah, no, if you really, if you want to feel bad about yourself, spend a bunch of time on social media and be like, wow, everything I do is horrible. Everything I make is worthless. But at the same time, I also find a lot of people who make stuff that is, I, I, I pick this up from Ryan uh, Consul. I find stuff from people who are not as good as me at certain things and who are still super proud of it. I'm like, you know, I should be more like them and less like me. Because they're spending less time feeling bad about all the crap they make and being like, here's my crap! Deal with it! <laughs> Which is probably the best way to do. 
<laughs> anyway, what do you want to do with social media? What do you want? Um, well, one of the things that I'm doing right now... Um, uh, remember how we started podcasting largely I, to stave off no to stave off my boredom and, <laughs> and, and, and that's uh, not your what we 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 started podcasting to get you past your anxiety well yeah well, was, yeah uh, my i don't know if it was anxiety but i was anxious about my kind of existential crisis i wasn't creating anything um by listening to this you are solving Huck's ex- existential crisis yes you are for valid. only free per day you are validating my Let's not go that far. Okay, fine. Um, so, but one of the things that I'm trying to do on Instagram is um, I, I noticed sometime late last year that I've been doing a lot of new things, like learning how to do a lot of new things and whatnot. I mean, it, it might have started with the conspiracy. Mm-hmm. When we did the conspiracy and I and I challenged myself to make new, like try new recipes. Link to the conspiracy article in the show notes. Yeah, so... Um, so I noticed I was making a lot of new foods that I'd never made before. Um, uh, a buddy of mine helped me to learn how to change my own oil. Uh, right around New Year's, uh, I was debating buying a computer or building my own computer. And thankfully, you guys convinced me to build a computer. Now, I haven't purchased the parts yet. But I helped a person build a computer. So that's got to count for something. Um, and I've got a couple like home projects that I want to work on. Um, so I'm largely using Instagram to kind of motivate myself to just try new things and make new things and then just put it out there. So, um, like for example, I bought a, uh, learn how to do circuitry kit. And so when I wired my first circuit, which was just battery pack into breadboard the breadboard had a resistor and an LED light, and that was it. No switch, no nothing. It was just that. And I had turned on the battery pack, and boom, I had a, my LED turned on, right? And, you know, I was proud of myself. Those were my first pictures that I threw up on Instagram, and then pictures of my dog immediately after. Of course, of course. Uh, so I've done that. I've ba- uh, baked bread and rolls. Um, now I've tr- I'm trying to... Much in the same way I use Twitter uh, for, or I use if this then that with Twitter to keep myself accountable at the gym. Every time I go to the gym, I have it geotagged so that when I enter the gym, it tweets an automatic tweet that uh, I'm at the gym. Um, I'm trying to do that level of accountability for reading because I notice that I'm not reading nearly as much. I tend to spend more time on you know social media and whatnot than I read. So uh, recently, I started reading. Well, I'm reading a shitload of books right now but i started um a biography on descartes uh and it's a little bit of a historical biography but also it tries to account for where his ideas come from situated in the context of history um so i started reading that so i took a picture of the the cover and i sent it out and said you know hey if you notice that i'm not updating on books that i'm reading feel free to call me out on that one that i'm not i'm not doing things like that um so i usually I'm trying to use Instagram as um, a platform or as a, as a repository for things that I make, learn, fix, find industri- uh, industry, find interesting, and massive amounts of pictures of my dog. Yeah, no, like tons of pictures of Ryan's dog. Yeah. Who but, is the cutest dog ever? Yes, he's very cute. Uh, and so what I hope my goal is, of there is... Um, just to, I, I want to spur myself to be a little bit more creative. I want to embrace the community side of it, but for right now, I'm using it as a way of just keeping myself active. Much in the same way, I want to, I want to like make enough money to start attending course lab and whatnot, and just make more things, uh, and then kind of like just make it and throw it out there and be like, look what I made, you know? Deal it's, with it. It's not pretty, but it works. It it turns on until it breaks. But I mean, you, most things work until they break. Yeah. So that's that's largely what I'm doing it with it right now. It might change a little bit later. I might get tired of this. I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. What do I do? What do I want to do with social media? What I, one of the things I do uh, actually, we have a wiki for the D and D game that is really cool. It's sort of the creative endeavors of like 15 people, which is super neat. Mm-hmm. Um, at Obsidian Portal, um, and I want to do some more stuff with that. We're uh, reevaluating and rearranging the D and D games in august which is going to be exciting but uh i have a creative writing website and poetry website that i never ever use that like every once in a while and i really want to do more because it's just i need that fictional outlet that random outlet the part of me that wants to grow up to be shell silverstein just needs it 
and uh, 16 dodos which yeah I barely ever touch that but I really want to um, I really want to start a tumbler that is just my uncle's books I inherited several thousand science fiction and fantasy books from my uncle Pierre um, after he passed and sort of, sort of slowly box by box transported them to my, from, my, from Ottawa to my house and I have them all and I have all these books that I have read as a kid he had this really great knack for picking the right book for the right person at the right time and all these books I read as a kid that were like my formative books uh, that, that set me down the path from being a little tiny nerd to a like grown up nerd it's working remarkably but there are all these other books that I hadn't read God, I need to read these books in case they're brilliant, and they often are. Uh, they also sometimes are just potato chip sci-fi. But mm -hmm. um, I thought it would be neat to just, you know, I don't know, post book covers or something, or brief, brief reflections. I really want to do a doodle diary because I'm scared of drawing because I'm shitty at it. But the only way to get better at something is to do it. I mean, I really like daily content, as you can no doubt tell from all the videos that we did in Vita. Mm -hmm. Not to mention. Um, you know all the other random stuff and the blogging and the that's my that's my favorite part about the whole thing. So I just want to make more stuff. Uh, I don't have a particularly good Tumblr idea apart from the book one, but I really sort of want to do that. But it's neat that it, like, like I don't know it's weird to me that like I want to use it for a particular creative endeavor rather than like using it as a vehicle for myself because I have a website for that. And that's like I have my own website and I sort of put up a thing there every week and I sort of randomly talk about stuff that I'm doing. Um, that's the easy bit. You just think of it like a space, like an art gallery. You just go and you hang up stuff that you make. And then yeah, I mean, people can come pretty and much. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's what we want to do with social media. Mm. Um, I don't want comments about what people want to do with social media. I want them to go and do it and then send us links. Mm -hmm. So put your links in the comments because mm -hmm. I want to see it. Mm -hmm. I want to be real. I want us to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's... Uh Visual, audio, what else? Text, whatever you want. Send it, send it our way. Uh, so, wrap up. Who is your favorite person to follow on the Twitters or the internet in general? Yeah, I guess uh, I'd have to broaden it out to yes, just social media in general. I, I'd say there's two. the The most recent one that I got into. You have two answers for every single question. I do, I do. Every time we do yeah, an icebreaker, uh, you're like, oh, actually, there's two, it's, it's two things really. I have a Yanis problem. Yeah, two, no kidding. Two faces. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll give two answers, like, t for two different mediums. I'll give uh, an Instagram one, I'll give a YouTube one, because I've discovered t uh, new ones on both at the moment. Uh, one was thanks to a BuzzFeed article, a uh, guy by the name of, I think it's Mike Natter, Nader, N -A -R, Mike... Links in the show notes. Yeah, dot N-A-T-T-E-R. Uh, and I guess his story is he's a, a med, uh, um, pre-med, no, I guess he's a med student. Um, and he admits that, you know, he wasn't really the most scientifically or mathematically inclined individual. So, uh, but he's really good at art. And I guess the way he studies and digests um, the content, because med school throws a hell of a lot of content at you and tells you to swim, you know, whether or not you can or not. I guess he uses his artistic abilities to make doodles about the things that he's studying and uh, create uh, memory devices and so he's got a really interesting instagram of just drawings of him trying to portray different kind of medical things whether it's he draws a cartoon of a character with exaggerated features and then he draws notes around or he writes notes around it to describe what all these features are and why they point to this one particular uh, medical issue so that's really interesting uh, and then a new guy that i started following on uh, youtube this guy named raymond uh, his handle on YouTube is the online coach, and I showed you a picture of him earlier. This guy is jacked, like he is jacked, very muscular. That's what that means. Uh, just, Swole. just super muscular. Uh, and but anyways, I I, uh, I started following it just because you know he his uh, the thumbnail image was just jacked. Uh, and I, I, you know what, I was kind of expecting... That man has large muscles, I think I'd like to hear what he has to say. <laughs> yeah, I know, and I was curious to see if he kind of conformed or conformed to a, a stereotype I had of, of some kind of the fitness guys, you know? But, so his story, I guess, you know, he's a, he lives out in California with his wife, girlfriend? Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, his partner. Uh, and they have a daughter and another child on the way. And he just recently opened up a gym down there. Uh, and this is like... Um, 
you know, the fitness buff style gym doesn't have a lot of the frills that a uh, commercial gym has, but it's got a lot of the great material for, for lifting and whatnot. So his videos tend to be uh, one third him talking about the business, you know, him waking up in the morning, getting ready for work, going to work, answering clients' emails because he also does online consultations for fitness and nutrition and whatnot. Then maybe half the video of him and uh, anybody else who's in the gym just doing some workouts. So he'll show you short clips of, you know, him doing a push or a pull style exercise, you know, with proper form and, you know, his personal bests and whatnot. And then the rest of the video is him talking about his life or his family or, you know, things that he's interested in, you know, like he, he seems to really enjoy Nike shoes and whatnot. He likes collecting shoes and he likes, uh, he really likes uh, Waba Grill. <laughs> so he, a lot of, lot of shots of him eating stuff from, from Waba Grill and just talking about, uh, you know, staying optimistic and positive. And he just seems like a really nice, down to earth, hardworking guy. Just he's doing what he loves um, and trying to make his passion, you know, help him help people and whatnot. So, um, so yeah, Raymond or the online coach will definitely throw a, a link either over my face because I guess he's got YouTube videos or we'll mention We're it We're going to put it over your below. face now. Thanks for that editing job, Ryan. Sorry. So, <laughs> anyways, that, those are the two people that I've recently discovered on the social medias. Oh, man. What so, about you, Jim? No, I don't have two answers to this question because I barely prepared one. <laughs> but, no, I mean, if you're going to follow anybody on Twitter, follow Gail Simone because Gail Simone's awesome. She writes comics and she's generally cool. If I had to, had to, had to pick a second person. Yes, you do. I do now, because you had to. I don't know who I would pick. I mean, there's a bunch of people. There's Maureen Johnson and Zoe Quinn and Cam Banks and lots of cool people on Twitter. Um, D20 Monkey, who also writes and draws a comic, which is super rad. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's lots of people. I'm sure there's a bunch in there. Hannah Hart, who is wonderful and adorable. Um, I got nothing. There's, a, there's too many cool people on the internet mm. for me to pick. Um, and also, I spend more and more time on the internet watching other people play video games. <laughs> so, actually, that's what I'm going to go and do. So... Uh, Spend a bunch more time on social media and find us on it, and we will find you on it, and we'll hang out and chat. I'm Jim. And I'm Ryan. And we're signing off. Stay creative. Really? Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. You well, want to maybe there's, get there's, off your phone, Ryan? We could do this podcast. I am Instagramming our podcasting, so just <laughs> leave me alone. I will not. I decline. That's cool, we'll wait. Yep. Haha, <laughs> we're on Instagram.